Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today we're gonna show you the difference between rock steady stabilization and horizon steady stabilization on the DJI Avada, so stay tuned. Okay, so in order to get started, let me show you real quick how you change between rock steady and horizon steady in the goggles. So what you do is you swipe forward on the little trackpad, you'll get this status, album, transmission, settings, uh, menu over here, you go down to settings and you go to camera and there it is, EIS. So I click on EIS and you can switch between Horizon Steady or Rock Steady. So we'll start with a little indoor flight in Rock Steady mode just to see how that looks. So this is flying around the office in Rock Steady. So, you know, the thing with Rocksteady 2 is you're not gonna be doing a lot of like crazy stuff. Like that's me like kind of going left and right. I'm sure, I don't know if you can see that or not, if that's stabilizing that or if it's, um, if it's not. But, you know, as you go, you might get just this little tiny bit of tilt as you turn that you wouldn't get with Horizon Steady. So oh, that's what it looks like when you hit something. Coming down the hall. In the dark. All right, that's where I'll land, right there. So I'll slide forward, go down to settings, go to camera, go to EIS, electronic image stabilization, horizon steady, and back out of this menu. And now, hopefully, even as I bump into things and um, take corners and stuff, it will still... Um... It will still keep it steady. So I'm thinking generally, Horizon Steady is where you want to be if you're flying indoors, because you want it to look as smooth as possible. The, the big thing though is that, you know, at some point it's just going to look like a handheld gimbal, you know, if you're not really taking advantage of the altitude, like if it's not a tall ceiling that you can kind of go up, or if you're not going through gaps, going through gaps is what really honestly makes this interesting, right? It's, you couldn't do that with a handheld gimbal. So, but ultimately, that was close. The theory is that Horizon Steady is gonna give you really smooth lines as you're flying through a building and not kind of tilting side to side. So if you're trying to do it for architecture, real estate, beauty shots, and maybe even just a fly through of like a bar or a restaurant or a um, bowling alley or whatever, I do think Horizon Steady is probably what you're gonna wanna do, unless you really wanna be able to see turns that you're making. Um, and again, I was flying in normal mode, not in sport or acro mode. So because Horizon Steady actually artificially keeps the horizon as flat as possible all the time, if you're flying in manual mode and you're doing big swoops and dips and flips and rolls, it's gonna look a little weird because the software is gonna to wanna to keep everything horizontally uh, stable. So for example, if you were to do a flip or a roll, it's going to actually take it to a point, uh, keep it stable, and then it's gonna give you kind of a glitchy looking thing when it flips it over, but still keeps it stable. So it's like, as you go over, it'll go from this way to this way, but it goes instantly and it just doesn't look right. So flying in manual mode, I really don't think that Horizon Steady is doing you a whole lot of good. It's actually uh, much better for sport mode or normal mode, Horizon Steady is. Whereas Rock Steady looks fantastic when you're flying in manual mode because it just smooths out any bumps that you have, smooths out any little jitters that you have as you're flying, but you still get the sense that you're flying. You get that feeling that you're kind of banking and turning and dipping and diving and flipping as you go in Horizon mode. 
So if you're flying manual, doing any sort of aerobatics at all, any sort of dives, any sort of things where you're trying to make it look like an FPV quad, Rocksteady is the way to go. Whereas if you're trying to get something that looks more cinematic, more like you're flying with a Mavic, say, putting it into horizon steady mode is going to give you more of that look because it's gonna keep everything steady and you're probably gonna to wanna to put it into normal or sport mode anyway to keep it stabilized so you can get smoother shots and sort of replicate what a actual mechanical gimbal does. If you're not already familiar with how Rocksteady and Horizon Steady work, they essentially crop in on the image. You have a 4K image that's, I think, 3840 by 2160. That's standard 4K. And what it does is it takes some of that image, the outer edge of that image, and it crops in, and then it actually moves the image around to make it more stable. But the downside is you're giving up some of the image. So some of that outer image is a little bit cropped. So what we've done is we've taken the Avada, set it on a stable surface, and recorded in all three modes. One mode without any stabilization, one mode with rock steady stabilization, and one mode with horizon steady stabilization. So what's interesting is, even though your final recording will still be in 4K, it's actually cropped 4K. It's cropped what you originally captured a little bit, and you've lost a little bit of data around the edges, depending on which mode you were in. So if you're trying to get the highest resolution image with the least cropping, Rocksteady is gonna be better than Horizon Steady every time. So to summarize, if you're flying indoors, trying to do something for real estate or a fly through of some sort of a building or a business, Horizon Steady is probably the way to go, flying in normal mode. Flying indoors is always a little tricky. Normal mode kind of gives you that ability to just go along smoothly, not too fast, and you're not trying to do any big flips or, or spins or anything like that. You're really just trying to show off the space that you're flying through. And Horizon Steady is gonna give you that really stable look. But if you're flying outdoors and doing something a little more acrobatic, Rocksteady is really gonna give you that look. It all comes down to whether or not you want it to look like FPV or you want it to look more like a camera drone. If you want it to look more like a camera drone, Horizon Steady is great. If you want it to look more like an FPV quad, Rocksteady is great. And then there's gonna be times when you could try it in both. You know, if you're doing a fly through of a building, wouldn't hurt to do one in Rocksteady and one in Horizon Steady and take a look at it and see which one you like better. Let us know what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion about the difference between Rocksteady, Horizon Steady. We definitely love checking comments. We always read them, we try to respond. And if you want to leave a comment below, we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching Ready, Set, Drone, and we'll see you next time. All right, here we go. Oh, it's really interesting, Chris, uh, when you see the goggle camera, yeah. the red recording light is right on your cheek. <laughs> and it looks like, a, looks like somebody's shooting a laser pointer at your, at your cheek, yeah. All right, here we go.